Is there such a thing as work-life balance? Probably, probably not, but I'm doing my best as a business owner, doing my best as a father, as a husband, and you know, sometimes you're gonna fuck up. You just have to learn from the experiences and admit your fault and, and just move forward. Good morning. Mm. Wanna show them your baba? You wanna to go to work with daddy? Oh uh, yeah. We study to work. Daddy, Uncle Game, Gigi, Bob. Who are you most excited to see? The Uncle Eddie. Oh. Show the camera. Woo! Good job. Good morning guys, so just ordered some donuts for this Friday. Family comes in this morning and I put into Brooke's request for Mother's Day was she wanted donuts from Chin Up Donuts, which is like 40 minutes away from our house, but on Uber Eats they actually had delivery and it probably took like 20 minutes for someone to finally accept the order to drive it all the way up here. We left them an additional tip for dropping off a box of donuts. Happy Friday, we are back in the lab. Just, Labbing away. Just brought another arm attachment so John can match me. Perfect little rig for our podcast setup when we do decide to, decide to film. Dropped off my car yesterday to Porsche and they kept it overnight to get it serviced. And this morning they hit me with a $2,500 service bill. Got it paid and then went to go pick it up. And then the air vents are still not working that I one of the reasons why we dropped it off. So how to get another loaner car, just kind of a kind of an inconvenience having to drop something off for a day and not have your car. But anyways, won't let that ruin the weekend. But the car they did lend us this time is a lot nicer than the other one. But today gonna to be working on some of our project, this new project we are building. Project X. Project X. And this is gonna be our ticket to freedom <laughs> documenting the whole journey and like everything from scratch something cool to look back on well it's going to be something but how big who knows but it's going to be fun kind of just like putting everything we've learned through life together and piece it up and make something big for once gonna be cool just yeah even just getting a few clips documented the journey i feel like a lot of people don't have that to show and look back on and they wish they would have had something even if this is some you know by all means a flop and a failure and we were to grow another business down the road at least we look back on yeah the tenacity we that. had on you Should've know done that. putting in the reps failing fast and just learning learning along the way oh yeah for sure 60 count 30 count 120 count or like by one by two so we have an event um out in newport beach next week for a women's um, business conference so just going to do a catch-up call make sure everything's in order before we fly out next thursday night for our day and a half production Hi, Gordon. We are flying in Thursday afternoon, and then we'll be there Friday morning to rock and roll. Awesome. You know, we'd love, of course, to have, as you're filming throughout the day, like times where you feel it's appropriate to kind of ask people to share their experience. Perfect. Yeah, we could go ahead and pull some people aside, probably, probably at least towards the end of day one, if not okay. more of day two, since they're getting a lot of the information while they're there. Don't want to do right. it too early before they could actually give a good testimonial. And right. if you did have like one to two, maybe three people that would love to do one that you know, maybe point them out for us. If not, we'll just kind of pull people aside and see who's comfortable. And could you so, um, let me know a recap of the types of people attending the event? Yes. So these are all female CEOs who own and run aesthetic and, and or wellness practices. And real quick before we get back into the episode, this is going to be the next giveaway. So I'm going to be choosing one winner to win the bold proposal template. To join the giveaway, all you have to do is two things. Number one, drop a comment below. And number two, make sure you add the chart emoji at the very end of your comment. I'll be choosing one winner by the time the next episode drops. All right, let's get back to this video. Taking a break now, gonna eat some lunch, but stopped over at our good friends over at Eat Clean Phoenix. Grabbed a healthy meal to eat since we aren't cooking up today. How long did you microwave mine for? Oh my gosh! What it says is two to three minutes. 
Looks pretty fire. Ooh. All right, we made it home. So we are wrapping up the week here at the office. It's been it's been a long one. Had a lot of stuff going on. Was able to work in a half day today, get some work done, and we are. Remember the last vlog where we talked about onboarding a canvas client we were speaking to so I was able to rebuttal bumped up the package a little bit and we are this close this close to locking it in so hopefully he responds this afternoon wants to move forward with the three-month retainer it will be like a 12k project so we are excited to secure that but on to the weekend we are celebrating Mother's Day we actually have a round of golf over in Quintero tomorrow People say it's the number one public golf course, probably number one, number two golf course here in Arizona. I never played there before, hoping I play pretty well. My driver has been non-existent and I need that to go straight, even if it's just 200 yards, just straight and not lose a fucking ball off of my drive. What are you doing? Let me see you dance, Gray. Chair? No. Hi, chair? So we need more room, honey. No. Oh, SpongeBob. Oh. Eating chocolate? No. Yeah. Give Pop Pop a bite? No. Oh. He like it, huh? Must be really good. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are heading over to Quintero Golf Club. It's 5 a.m., 5, 5, 10 a.m. Gonna head over, pick up the boys. Playing around at golf at Quintero. I haven't gone out golfing this um, early in a while. It's actually like half an hour away, so gonna drive over there, get there a little bit before 6 a.m. and have about half an hour to warm up before our tea time. <laughs> 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 Good morning. What's up, man? <laughs> Look at you, uh, Dapper. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> Look at you. Don't let it fool you. I didn't even know you owned a polo. <laughs> I think this one Matt gave me. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're out here about to go. Get around it. What's your what? last time you played? October 2023. And he's still going to whoop some, whoop everybody's ass. But we're playing Stop out here. Stop spreading lies to the people. Pachero. We're gonna shoot like 65. We've both never played this, so it'll be interesting. He has still proof. <laughs> Are you looking at your picture? Yeah, yeah, he, he what? He wants to check his pick at Grandpa. Look, 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 look Grayson. Look, look. Grayson. <coughs> Is it okay? Uh, Is okay. it okay? Yeah, okay? Do you approve? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought this is your color. Love it. bring this to mommy? No. No, okay. Can I read a book? Yeah. So, um, grab the books you got from mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot, Catherine. I was like, oh, yeah. Uncle's got you? Love it. Happy Mother's Cute. Day. Happy Mother's Day. What? Yeah. <laughs> Happy beautiful. Mother's Day. Thank you. Where are we headed to? We are heading to a French restaurant with the family for Mother's Day brunch. Ooh, fancy. I'm very excited. We got the whole family here. Yeah, show the family. How cute everybody looks. Look at our little peanut. 
boy. Who's your favorite at the table? Who's your favorite? Uh oh. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Look around first. Wanna go catch a lizard? What are you making? Mother's Day charcuterie board. Yes. Should be making this. The pro. Don't I make it way better than her? Yeah, you make it the best. Hey. Not way better, but. Oh no, Mama's getting good. Pretty good at these. What are you watching? Grayson, Dad is asking for something. What are you doing? YouTube? We are headed to the office. Had a very fun weekend with the family in town, but it's Monday today, um, 12.30. I spent the morning with the family, going to look at houses and just hanging out. But got to head into the office today. I was going to take the day off, but we have three meetings set for um, this afternoon. So got to get back in, get some work done to start off the week um, since we, I will be heading out of town on Thursday for a, a trip out to Newport for, for work. It's going to be a great day. I'll show you guys some snippets behind the scenes of these calls as well. The first one is for a new business venture. Going to be potentially starting a supplement brand. Do you guys have any um, clients in the supplement vitamin space? As far as in the space, I mean, we do um, for natural grocers, you know, they're super green gummy. I mean, we have a bunch of our customers that do both cannabis and supplement products. You said that your uh, MOQ was around 28,000 gummies. Lead time for like manufacturing the product from there about three to six weeks, four to five weeks ish. Yeah, it sounds like you guys know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. As we like keep going with this, is it possible to like come tour the facility, just like see like see everything or no? Yeah, anytime. I have this uh, handoff with a partner at three o'clock. Okay. And uh, sometimes it just takes longer than others. So when he texted me, I was like, ah, I can probably make it back by four thirty, but this is this is perfect actually. All right. Well, perfect. And just curious, how did you guys hear about us? So I heard about you through a well-placed ad on Instagram. I've been, um, I'm joining, I don't remember what I put in your form, but I'm joining um, a startup to to run their marketing. Okay. And I've been doing enough digging around that uh, every third item on my feed now is like a, a targeted marketing ad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but I liked I like your vibe. I like the breakdown of um, some of what I saw on your landing page. And this product seems very unique. I'd never seen anything really like it before. It's specifically targeted towards uh, helping with breathing. So the reason why it's been a couple of years since it was developed between then and actually now them being ready to launch is because they wanted to uh, get it through the FDA. So FDA okay. is now authorized it i guess how corporate we're trying to go versus maybe tying a little bit of humor um to kind of soften it up a little bit how flexible you guys were with the delivery and tone oh, of the messaging yeah. and brand very flexible i think minimally corporate -y. i think like um if you think of therabody for instance yep um like i think about them a lot with this product even though we right now we're just like a one product company mm -hmm. um but I think Therabody is probably the most corporate-y that I would see. You know how like some of their posts are like super organic and some of them are UDC, but some of them are a little bit product-y and like, uh, I, I think that's probably the most, the most sort of uh, corporate that I would see this being. Sounds great. And I know you mentioned you wanted to potentially get rolling by the end of this month. If by the end of this month, you guys are actively working on stuff and filming stuff and it takes a little bit longer, that's that's okay. What we're doing is looking to stand up, you know, building and installing our pixels and all that stuff and, and try to start getting some 
trials out the door by early June to see what works and what doesn't. Yeah, so just give you a little bit of rundown of what we do over here at Lee Visuals. Um, we're primarily a content agency for e-commerce brands similar to sound. We create ad creation, social content, all of that stuff. And we really dive deep into your brand, understand your demographic, learn more about the product and see how we could really relate and resonate to your ideal customer through the content we create and really hit on the pain points, ultimately sell the product in a very catchy way. Um, as you can see through our ads and our social content, if you dove into that. We're open to like an initial starting up fee and then a separate recurring fee. A bigger package for like the first month, like, like a big uh, a bucket of initial stuff to kick things off. Sure. And then, and then what like your recurring package would be for us to re-up on a monthly basis for like a, a smaller amount of stuff once we have some sort of content out the door that's, that's uh, cranking. Um, all right, great. So maybe uh, what are next steps and kind of time frame as you would see it? Yep, so next steps, I'll send over a content proposal for you to review um, with your team. I'll send over three different options. I'll have that sent over by um, tomorrow early afternoon, if that works with you. Okay. And then yeah. review it with the team this week, choose a package that you guys would like to move forward with. And then from there, I'll just ask for you to send us a few of your products, probably you know three to four products. And then we could get started by as soon as mid next week, we have availability and then start shooting some content and have potentially some assets over by the end of May for you guys to start pumping out. Ah, oh, beautiful, love that. Good morning, everybody. So time for a quick update. Um, it is Wednesday today. We have our mastermind, I have the mastermind going on today, but today we are starting off with another morning round of golf. It's 6.45 right now, heading over to the course. Gonna get a quick nine in. Didn't really get to film the first two days of this week. Family left town on Monday. They were here for a couple days for Mother's Day and it was nice having everybody here to celebrate. But yesterday, it was a very long day. Um, getting back into the grind with work. The first couple hours of the day, just cranking out a bunch of edits, admin stuff, getting back to a bunch of clients and just a little bit stressful, I would say starting off this week with things starting to kind of pile up. So I'm just gonna start chipping away. Um, but we are wrapping up one of our retainers for Fuse, which we filmed one of our last talent for that brand yesterday. We drove all the way out to Gilbert, met a cool dude named Matt that um, John knew personally before. Just cool to get connected with um, other people. That's the beauty of being in this industry, being able to meet a bunch of new people, getting connected. I also have a little story to tell about a potential lead. Um, someone actually had on a call in the previous vlog. Have a little bit of story to tell here um, later in this vlog. But as you can see, finally got my car back, picked it up yesterday. I feel like every time you drop it off to get a service done, you hope for the best that nothing's really wrong with it or you're not having to pay much more than the actual service. Uh, um, but you know, a couple of different things came up. The service itself, I think costs like two to 3,000 bucks. Got that paid. Um, they told me there was a minor oil leak which was gonna be like $3,000 passed on that. Um, I sent over the details to another guy I know to see if they're just misquoting me, um, just so I don't have to pay that, but it was nothing major. And then the center vent, the right side, the passenger side, currently isn't working. So that's why I had to leave the car in the shop a little bit longer um, to troubleshoot that. They didn't fix the issue the first time when I asked them to take a look at it. But while we were talking when I was there, the passenger side suddenly just started working so it was weird so i had to leave the car there over the weekend that's why i had that second loaner car but long story short they reached back out saying they had to change out the servo motor um, replace the whole center vent and it was going to cost like five thousand bucks i went ahead and passed on that as well and we looked up the different parts um if i were to buy the parts myself i think it would have came out to like maybe 600 bucks in parts so they were trying to quote like 4,400 bucks in labor. So like I'm not trying to drop 10 bands, dropping the car off to get serviced. Yeah, so that's where I'm currently at. Overall, just grateful for everything going on um, in my life. So nothing to, nothing to be stressed about. Things could be way worse. Just minor problems that just happened. So grateful for, you know, having a healthy life, having a healthy family, all the, all the opportunities around me, and just continue knowing that 
you know, it's all God's plan. And just here to continue being the best version of myself, doing amazing work, being a good person. There's always gonna be a lot of ups and downs um, throughout, you know, my journey as a business owner, uh, throughout my journey, living life. And just gotta learn how to roll with the punches and know that everything's gonna be okay. Just gotta stop, continue not being complacent and striving to always do a little bit better every single day. Vlogging with this one. Vlogging? Vlogging, making YouTube videos. Really? Yeah. All right, back here in the studio, we have a few minutes before the mastermind starts, but um, went grocery shopping yesterday. Um, got some chicken tenders, salad mix, almond milk for protein this morning, yerba mate, and sweet potatoes for lunch. I need to get a little bit energized here and get and get some calories in. So I'm gonna make a quick smoothie, get the mastermind going. Today we are gonna be doing some mock discovery calls with everybody in the group. I pretend like I'm the client, they're the agency owner. I'm gonna throw a couple objections their way, see how they handle it. And afterwards we go around the room and everybody gives their feedback, what they did a great job at, what that person did a really good job at and what they can improve on moving forward. It's very good to get the repetitions in, especially for some of the guys who have only been at it for under a year or haven't had much, much experience doing a lot of discovery calls. It can be a little bit nerve wracking at first, but getting the repetitions in, especially in a controlled environment where it's, you know, fake to do better for their actual clients is going to be probably one of the better lessons I would say throughout that creative mastermind. And I saw, I told him, I was like, listen, we can either do the three for 2,800. I'm cool with that. Or which I recommend to you for 3k instead I'll throw, do three long videos and I'll do one short top of funnel ad. And he was like, cause the ones that they did, they performed as good as they used to. They said they didn't like outperform the old, but he said we got better quality leads. I'll grab a couple photos real quick before we crack it open. Do you want to swap out sugar free too or no? So we kind of get both? Oh, uh, there's two? Yep. <laughs> oh, good thing it's a drug call. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's swap it out. Just for sure. Yeah, Maybe this one you just kind of sit over. Drop your legs. You got to chill and crack it over. You crack it open and take a sip and smile. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good, good. We're still recovering a little bit and switching up our sleep schedule, but overall good. <laughs> still waking, waking up. up at like Japan time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I loved watching your stories and all the food and places you guys went and the photo shoot looked dope. So glad you guys had a had a blast. Yeah, California should be fun. Um, I just sent you like the brief notes I took from the call, but overall we get in tomorrow afternoon. We should be arriving at like 6.20 to California. And then renting a car, the car should be parked there at the airport. So we'll just hop in the car, drive over to my parents' house. It's about like 20 minutes from the airport. So we'll cook up some dinner. And then the next morning we'll have an earlier start. They have um, the retreat, they have breakfast at 8 a.m. So mm -hmm. we'll probably shoot the breakfast that day and not shoot the breakfast Sunday. So that's yeah. at 8 a.m. and it's probably about 30-ish, 35 minutes from the house. So we'll probably leave around 7 a.m. in case we we'll go grab a coffee or something. And then we'll probably just dress like semi-business professional because it'll be like a women's corporate business owner conference, similar to what they were last time. So whatever, gotcha. that, so whatever like that looks like. <laughs> um, earlier today we finally found a model shout out to aspen for making it last minute to shoot for our energy brand we've been 
trying to find a t um, find a model for the last two days before I head out to California. I've, everything kind of just came up really quick and needed someone to show up and make it happen and she made it happen. But glad to check that off the list and have a few more projects we are chipping away at. Definitely a lot of weight off of my shoulders before, you know, the client experience gets tarnished and the delivery and the turnaround gets pushed off a little bit too long. Now I'm gonna go home, see the fam, hang out with them today. Uh, I've got to pack up tonight as well because I'm gonna pretty much head straight from work to the airport tomorrow. All right, so here's um, the quick story I wanted to bring up while it's top of mind. Um, just from previous incident that happened or learning experience, you might say, through the agency. So I had a very successful call, um, hopped on a call with a new lead that reached out. And you know we were chatting back and forth, chatting, we were chatting for like 30 minutes and really dove into their business, what they were looking for. And this was around Wednesday. Um, and afterwards, you know, we had some follow-up stuff I needed, you know, everything went well. They're a startup company and they just needed a, they needed social content um, for their business. Cool. Um, the budget was relatively decent for what we were looking for, but still kind of vague in what we were hoping to create out of this. I just needed some more um, inspiration or videos they were trying to achieve or just the look and feel they were trying to go for. So fast forward, you know, it was probably Thursday afternoon um, here here at this point where I was waiting on some information for them to send over a couple of links, maybe some example videos on Instagram. And I got that over, I think, Thursday afternoon. I took a look at those and I think I just needed, from there, it was Friday now, diving into those videos and what they kind of liked from those videos because the videos they sent over were more so from the perspective of like a personal brand rather than like a business. So the content looked cool. I just was kind of unclear of how we're going to relate that to their business. I just needed some more insight on what they were looking to achieve. So he created a Loom video and sent that over Friday, I believe. And you know, Friday now going to the weekend and my family came in Friday because Mother's Day was Sunday. The weekend I decided to spend with the family and be a little bit more detached for and unresponsive through the business as I normally would be. Fast forward from there, you know, the weekend went by. I think he sent a follow-up on maybe Saturday afternoon, but I didn't respond. For me, there has to be some non-negotiables for, my, for myself as a business owner and a family guy. There has to be some sort of separation of how many emails am I going to respond to? When should I decide to respond to them? Am I going to be responsive 24-7? or am I gonna be detached a certain period of time? In this specific scenario, I decided to be a little bit more detached from res responding until office hours or work hours going to the office on Monday. And then he sent a follow-up a follow up message on Monday morning at like 8 a.m. I was still at home with the family then. Yeah, so my family didn't fly out until that afternoon, so I decided to spend a couple more hours Monday morning. He shot me a text at 8 a.m. He asked if I saw the video he sent over. Um, I personally didn't respond yet, which I, looking back on, I'll reflect on after this little message here. But then he sent another follow-up around like 10 a.m. saying, you know, unfortunately I haven't heard from you. I was looking forward to working with you guys, blah, blah, blah. And then I responded because I was on my way to work around 12 p.m. Letting him know, you know, family was in town, it was Mother's Day weekend. I decided to take a little bit of time off of work um, and so on. Long story short, he said, you know, that's fine. Um, but we'll just hope to get some sort of response. Decided not to work with us at that point because of our communication. If he were to invest in a bigger package, he didn't want that to be the case where we have had bad communication and bad experience, which I totally understand. Get to my point of this little story is, I don't, I don't know if I have a point, but to as a business owner, obviously 99.9% .9 of the time you're gonna be in the wrong. And in this scenario, I could have definitely been a lot more responsive, give him some sort of idea of when I was gonna get back to him, especially if I did have family in time, rather than not responding. And this is a learning experience for me. Sometimes when in my head, I think that I need to be detached from work to be present in, in the moment with my family. At the same time, that doesn't mean totally being disconnected from my phone and shutting it off, but still being responsive and giving some sort of clear direction of where I'm at right now and letting my clients or prospects know that, you know, I'll be taking the next two days off. I'll be following up Monday afternoon with you guys once I'm back in office. 
just by sending out that one quick te text message or response probably could have better this experience for that person is just something to reflect on here moving forward for you guys as well if you guys do come across scenarios like this or you guys do have trouble um getting caught up with bad communication or you guys are burnt out and you guys have bad you know you guys aren't as responsive as you should be maybe this is something you guys can learn from my experience that be on top of it if you guys want to provide the best experience for your clients and actually figure out how you guys can improve especially when you guys don't lock in a client or close a client how can you improve on moving forward for other clients down the road how can you improve that experience for those people it's tough when i'm responding to every single message 24 7 that i'm so wrapped up on my phone it's kind of hard to find that boundary is there such a thing as work-life balance probably probably not but i'm doing my best as a business owner doing my best as a father as a husband and you know sometimes you're gonna fuck up you just have to learn from the experiences and admit your fault and and just move forward the biggest thing is to not let it weigh you down i feel like little things like this really really fucks with me and i it lingers on with me for the next couple of days and even weeks on fuck how did i fuck up so bad or how could i improved or why did i catch that or why did i send out that one text message that could have salvaged everything you know that's life you make a mistake own up to it and do better moving forward. Hey baby, on the track. Go this way, go. Boy. Watch where you're going. Daddy, I go on a flight. Say bye bye. Say bye to daddy. No, daddy. You know, be a good boy for Mimi and mommy. So we are about to wrap up the vlog here, but for everybody who joined the giveaway in vlog number four, we are choosing the winner now. So we did get a lot of good response. Loved all the engagement you guys commented and what you guys learned from the series that i've been dropping so appreciate all the support but i said i was going to be choosing one winner so the one winner we are going to be choosing will be giuliano alessandro congrats on winning the bold proposal template i'll drop a comment to let you know to email me but i do have a surprise we are going to be choosing one more so two winners are going to be winning the bold proposal template just because I love all these comments. Love that you guys are finding a lot of value. All right, so the second winner we will be choosing will be Dan North NY. Congrats, Dan, for winning the bold proposal template. That is gonna be wrapping up this episode for episode number five. If you guys haven't yet and you guys watched this through, make sure you comment below to join the next giveaway. I will be announcing the new giveaway in the next episodes. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching every minute of these episodes. And I will see you guys in the next one.